This is session one, what I'm calling what do you think. I'm calling it that, not as a question so much as a raising the issue that it matters what our thoughts are. Because we tend to assume that what we're thinking doesn't really matter, it's what we do, our actions that matter. But there's a verse in the Bible that I haven't actually been able to locate, but it says, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. What we are thinking is vital because it will come out in our way we behave in our life. Now I want to go back to Adam and Eve. It's a story that tells truths. Adam and Eve lived in perfect harmony with God and with creation. Then Satan entered the picture. He's portrayed as a serpent and he caused Adam and Eve to disobey and so throw all of creation into chaos. But the way he did it illustrates the importance of what we think. He didn't hand Eve a piece of fruit and say, here, eat this. He was much more subtle. He came to her and he said, did God really say you could not eat of any fruit in the garden? And Eve answered quite correctly and said, no, we can eat of any tree except of the one in the middle. And we can't even touch that or we'll die. The servants already questioned what God said. And now he tells to Eve, you won't die. Instead, her eyes would be open and you would um, know for yourself what's good and what's not. What Satan had done here was to sow doubt. Sow doubt in Eve's mind, even suggesting that God was holding back on her. Maybe God's intentions weren't all that good after all. Can he really be trusted? Now, we don't know whether Eve ate the fruit straight away or whether it was some time later and each time she passed the tree she might think mm, it really does look good and yeah it would be very very good to know for myself what's right or wrong and certainly at some stage she took it and she gave some to her husband and he ate it too it was her thinking that led her to take the fruit and give some to Adam the thoughts that we allow to remain in our minds will affect how we live out our life and many have negative thoughts about their experience in life, I'm not worth anything. The message might have been given by a father who's always criticised you and told you you're hopeless. Or a teacher said you'll never make anything of yourself. We give the thought a landing place. And when it takes up residence, then we begin to leave it. Live it, sorry, believing that we're inferior, we're not capable of anything much. Or we live in defiance and we are always striving to prove that we are somebody of value. It's good to think about what our thoughts are about ourselves, what's residing in our minds, because we're going to be living that out in some way. Are they negative thoughts? I always lose out, no one cares about me, people won't like me, or maybe they're the opposite. I'm entitled to all the good things of this world. I'm a self-made person and I deserve all the success I have. Our thinking goes to the heart. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he, so he is. Who am I that the highest thing would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Who the sun. Oh,
the sun.